Contact tracing is the best way of stopping the spread of COVID-19 until there is a vaccine. Like other respiratory viruses, coronavirus spreads from person to person through coughing, sneezing, or sometimes just through talking, singing, or breathing. To stop it and to let our lives return to normal, we have to outsmart it. We have to find it, isolate it, and keep it from spreading to new people. Contact tracing has been used in the past to stop other viruses and infectious diseases such as SARS, MERS, and Ebola. The concept is simple. When someone is tested and shows to be infected with coronavirus, a public health aide, otherwise known as a contact tracer, will call the infected person and ask who they may have been in contact with the previous few days. After getting that important information, the contact tracer will then contact all those people and ask them to voluntarily isolate in their home for 14 days. They may also follow up with these people to see if they're showing any symptoms. If they are showing COVID-19 symptoms, they may be asked to get tested. This method essentially stops the virus from being able to jump to more and more people, and in the past has helped to alleviate the spread of other viruses. But even though the concept of contact tracing is simple, many people are suspicious of the phone call. Many do not answer any calls from unknown numbers. This makes it more difficult for contact tracers to let those who may have been infected aware that they may have contacted the coronavirus. Of course, you should never give sensitive information like a social security number or bank account to anyone, anyone calling you. They will be asking for name, age, and other basic information to confirm your identity. You can also call them back to an official phone number to confirm they're not scammers. Talking to a contact tracer is always confidential. As you can see, this process requires a lot of effort from all of us. But ultimately, contact tracing will help us slow the spread of coronavirus and allow us to open up our economy and social lives more safely.